Hey YouTube, this is your homeboy Seth Martial Arts Fitness and I want to talk to you a little bit about motivation. Motivation is key to anything. Motivation is key to keep going. Motivation is key to have moral aspects of life for living and to make you feel better about yourself to um, basically just you know, live life to the fullest, you know, and that's what motivation is. Motivation is to find your own purpose in life and where you need to be at in life and not, you know, you know, if you're not liking the situation where you are at in life, figure out a way to change it. Figure out a way to manifest in it, you know, to, you know, dwelling on it. You know, wondering, well, how come nobody likes me or, um, no on house, um, somebody, um, how come I don't have no, no friends, or how come, you know, I'm considered weak to most people, and everything else, and, well, you're really not weak, um, you're really, you're really not weak or anything like that. It's just that you gotta find your inner strength, you know, to keep carrying yourself forward, you know, not, not looking back. And most of the time when people push you to the corner, push you to the corner no matter what, they push you to the corner and you have no way out and you're trapped. And best thing to do is to fight back. You know, if you feel like you're getting bullied, Fight back, you know, say some things that, you know, start sticking up for yourself, do what you gotta do, if it even means, if you're at a job, if it means losing your job, over sticking up for yourself, or, um, or if you have a school bully, you know, sticking up to, to them, and if you're in school, I know some of these views of probably young teenagers that are watching my videos you know getting inspired by my videos and everything else and um yeah i mean it's just it, it's just uh to stand up stand up to yourself just stand up for yourself because nobody else ain't going to do it for you you might have that one friend out of a group you know that probably will stand up for you but will they have it for your back 100% all the way through all the sticking up for you if there's more than one person getting up on you? No, they won't. Um, but they would cheer you on from the sidelines, you know, and saying, hey, you need to settle this, you need to do it on your own. Um, so, yeah, I mean, let's go, you know, stick, stick up to the people that make you mad. Then, you know, who cares on what people think of you? You know, that's the thing, you know. A lot, you know, the other day, um, I was at work, one of my friends came up to me and said, well, you got made fun of out outside. And I said, well, why did I get made fun of outside? And one of the other co-workers made fun of me. And the whole entire time. And she was she was talking a lot of dog on me, a lot of bad things on me, and which you know I don't I don't care about none of that. I don't care about what she said or anything. I just with that the the worker that came up told me. I just looked at her and said, you know, hey, you know. They're just leaving somebody else out. They're just leaving somebody else out and everything else. And it's just, you know, it just hurts me to see how how a workplace can be in a way. You know, that's with any job, any job, anywhere you go in life. You're always going to run into bullies. You're always going to run into jerks. You're always going to run into somebody that's an asshole. And sometimes you gotta stick up to those assholes. 
those, those assholes in life because those assholes in life are gonna burn you down and when they they are gonna bring you down and that's what they're trying to do and if you don't let them bring you down and and you, and you don't let them you don't let them bring them down and everything else and I just basically um, don't let them bring me down I mean yeah I do get my bad days I do get my worst days um, but do I let it stop me on what I'm doing in, in life do I let it stop me um, quit training do I let it stop me um, going down the path I don't want to go and no, I keep I keep working there. Um, I keep putting up with, with the bullshit, but I don't let them walk all over me. And when I when I see that they're walking all over me, I put them in their traps. I stop them. I made I made some people cry over it. And so, doesn't that make me feel like a jerk when I have to tell them to mind their own business and not worry about what other people are doing and sit, you know, worry about yourself? Um, that's my model. Don't worry about what other people are doing. Don't worry about what other people are thinking. Don't want worry about what, you know, what people talk about you all the time. Who cares? You know, you're you. 100%. You're you all the way. You're you're by yourself all the time. And you have you to answer to yourself. And, and no one else is going to be there to answer for you. And, that, and that's the thing in, about life about itself. Because it's a part of life about growing up. Growing up and being sure. Growing up to be... You know, I'm a man. But... It'd be more growing up and becoming a man. And if you're a woman, this it's, it's is the same thing. You know, if you're a woman, if you're watching this, it's the same thing. It's just reverse. It, you know, you're trying to grow up to be a woman, that woman you want to be. And no one else is going to do it for you. You know, everybody else, you know, you got to you gotta figure out things on your own, how you need to do it and get it done. Because nobody else is going to do it for you. And a lot, a lot of people that work where I work at, they kind of turn me on when I stand up for myself. And because they know me really well now, and they know me over four years, and um, they know how I get. I wait till they back me up into a corner, and when I when I start to yell back and say what I have to say, get everything off my chest. And I don't sugarcoat things. I tell what hell it is. And I said, if they don't like it, that's what I tell them. I said, if they don't like it, they can just get rid of me. And, um, but they don't. They respect me because I do tell what hell it is. And I don't sugarcoat around it. I don't beat around the bush when I do say it. And I have made people cry over what I've said. I have made, I have made people quit their jobs over what I said because they can't handle the truth and when the truth comes to shove nobody wants to hear the truth and when they hear the, when they hear the truth they run and um so there there you have I mean there you have it. I mean, it's just motivation. A little motivation talk right there about how to deal. How to deal. How to deal with life problems, you know, on being an adult in itself. Because a lot of people back then, when I was a kid, a lot of people. A lot of people. Um, when they was younger, they didn't realize, you know, how hard, how hard it was going to be when they graduated school. 
The reason why I say that is that the reason why I say that is um, because the reason why I say that is because a lot of times a lot of people you know they want to say oh they they uh um we ain't gonna have to pay anything we ain't gonna have, you know we ain't gonna have to work we ain't gonna have to live out in the real world um everything's just gonna be nanny that they would put with their mom and dad the rest of their lives so i got news for you you know er everybody has to work at some point and everything um and everything in, in life, you know, to be able to make it, to be able to survive out in the real world. You know, it's like on Rocky, he, he, the Rocky Balboa movie, he gave his speech to the sun, you know, you know, life ain't always about sunshine, sunshine and rainbows. Life is, uh, it's not about how hard you get hit by a punch, it's about how you get back from those punches of life. When people try to bring you down, and and you just keep getting back up, and not and not um, pointing fingers at other other people, you know, but you have yourself to blame. And when when I first heard that speech that he was giving his son, when I heard that speech that he was giving his son, I felt like he was talking to me in a way. When I heard that speech. And I, I was just like, wow. I mean, wow. And I mean, that speech hit me really hard. And when I was younger, because I didn't really have nobody to really tell me what life was really all about. And when I saw that movie, I was just like, you know, I gotta live up to that expectation. And so, um, so that's the reason why I don't care about what people think. I don't care about what people think of me. I don't care about what people, how they talk about me. I don't care if they make fun of me. Um, as they say, I have, I mean, I have rods in my back. I have club feet. Um, I am, I am physically handicapped in a way. Um, but I don't really call myself handicapped. Everybody says out of what I do, and they say in the room, they say I am like the strongest man, strongest man in the factory where I work. And that's what they tell me. And they say, you know, I'm really, why do you say that? And I said, I don't really consider myself strong. And I said, because I know there's somebody stronger and faster and more better than I am. And they said, well, it is your character. I said, it's your character that makes you strong. I said, it's your wisdom and how you handle things. And, and how you can bring peace to the room. Or the area when there's conflict, and, that, and that's the thing. And I just, you know, and I just told her, I said, "Well, you're strong in that area." I said, "You show respect to your enemies, um, even if they don't show respect to you." And I said, "But you gain their respect by showing them respect." Yeah, and and. That's how I mean this, this one woman did it, I mean, a while back, a long time ago. We didn't really see eye to eye all the time, we just, we just talked, we, we, she just got on me everything I marked on her stuff, and we always got a fight for a lot, and but I've always respected her, um, but I didn't let her get, I didn't let her push me around either, and I just, I just basically just tuned, tuned it out and I, I respected him, I respected her 
the next day she comes up to me and she apologizes to me and she's like you showed me your and how come I said well respect is the greatest power I said if you can't if you, if you respect somebody even though somebody's not respecting you they'll still respect you no matter what um, so that's a life lesson there that I learned and over the years is that no matter what somebody disrespects you always show respect that because no matter what in life because there's always going to be that one asshole out of the group that is never going to respect you and I asked one person I said you know I'm one of my jobs I said how come you don't show me respect and they just looked at me and said really sis tell you the truth because I don't really like you I'm like, okay, that's fair enough. And that's what he said. And I said, I just didn't care. I didn't even bother. I didn't even bother talking to him or nothing at all. But we just tolerated each other after, because well, we were around each other. Because, you know, we didn't like each other that much. But we got our jobs done. And we helped each other out getting, getting the job done. So, um,. That was only one of my jobs that, one of my old jobs that I didn't, yeah, had somebody that didn't like me. And you know, like I said, you know, it's like I just don't care. You know, if anybody likes me, that's fine. I mean, if somebody does like me, that's fine too. And, but when somebody says they don't like me, I just move on to the next person. You know, move on to the next one. And, you know, make try to make friends. You know, that's what I do. That's how I am in life, and no matter what. And, um, uh, I just move on and walk forward, keep pushing forward, and, you know, keep going strong, and that's the only way in life you can do it, and it's to keep strong, and, you know, be all out, and be respectful, humble, kind to one another, and just be yourself, but most of all, respect others, others, and they respect you back no matter what. Even if they don't like you, they still have your, their respect towards you. Because you show them respect on what they want. But yet, yeah, yeah, boundaries. And so, there you have it, you know. A little motivation talk during this workout video. Um, I'm not really doing the work. I meant to do the instructional video. I just kind of want to do a little motivation. Yeah. Motivation talk, sorry. Um, I can't talk today for some odd reason. Um, but yeah, I mean, be yourself, be who you are. Who cares if people don't like you? Who cares? You know, when people talk about you, make fun of you. You're you, you're what God created. Um, he created you on who you are and what you're about. And, and, that, and that's the thing, that's one thing you need to know. And there you have it. That's martial art fitness. Please hit the like, subscribe, and please uh, hit that bell notification. You get every all on the bell notification. You get every video that pops up on the channel. And like I said, I, I kind of slowed down a little bit on uploading um, due to my internet. Uh, my internet some days can be slow, some days can be fast. Um, this just depends on what time of day it is and what day it is on weekends and stuff. Um, but there you have it, um, uh, Seth Marshall or Fitness, and I'll see you in the next video.